All right, so that's fine if you live in Sydney, but most of us who are taking this class live here in Terre Haute right now. So let's let's do some customizations so we can uh, we can we can change it to Terre Haute. Um, a lot of the work that we're going to do uh, in this is going to be on map ready, right? Because we need to wait for the for the map to load for us to do anything. Uh, so let's see let's see what we have here. So you see first of all that that um, really what makes it Sydney is its location here on the map, right? So this latitude uh, longitude pair. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and make some changes. So first of all, um, I'm going to uh, refactor this guy. So instead of Sydney, it is uh, Terre Haute, just to be more descriptive. And then I need latitude longitude, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and look that up. So up here, uh, latitude longitude, or I get give coordinates of Terre Haute. All right, and really smart here. Um, here it is. So we are north and west. Okay, so you remember that uh, that north south you have a range of positive 90 to negative 90 for north south, and then west is going to be from negative or positive to negative 180 degrees, where zero is the prime meridian. Uh, so we are west, so that when we copy it in, in that is going to be negative. So Go ahead and grab this here. So instead of being south and east, we're going to be north and west. So we've got some extra things here. So let's get rid of that, those degree symbols. And west is negative. And we'll get rid of that right there. Uh, then I want to change my title. Um, so you'll see that so latitude and longitude is obviously one object that we're going to be using quite a bit here. Uh, so maps have a, a method here that you can use to add a marker. All right, so add marker takes what's called a marker options. And a marker options is kind of chained together so that kind of like the builders usually are so that you can keep stringing these guys together and, and, and add more and more features of it. So let's, let's go ahead and on this one change the title uh, to Terre Haute. Okay? Uh, and then moving our camera there, uh, we would, you know, if, if we were to run this, we would see that it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us Terre Haute it's going to be zoomed out quite a bit, right? You saw how Sydney Sydney was. We're basically looking at at you know a, a big chunk of the globe there. So uh, I'm going to modify this, and the the spec has a link, but I can also get to it from here. If I look at this camera update factory, it looks like it's giving me a way to to specify the the uh, the latitude longitude coordinates, and this whatever this returns is going to be used to move the camera to that location, right? So uh, if I were to click on that or control click on mine. Uh, I'm going to find that it has things also having to do with zooms, right? Uh, and in fact, you're going to see that, that while we were using the new latitude longitude, that what we could do here is we could also use this other one right here, which also has a zoom. And you see that it, it just takes an additional zoom uh, parameter right here, right? And zooms, uh, different numbers will give you um, obviously different amounts of zoom. But let's, let's check this right here. Uh, I found that that five was was actually pretty decent for what we were doing. So I'm going to give this five, and it's a float. So um, if you wanted to be precise, you give it 5.0 float uh, if you want it. Right. And I'm going to run it and see how it does. Yeah. So I guess while it's while it's coming up here, this was the old one, by the way. Before I changed the zoom, I had it running in the in the background. Uh, not what we want. So we'll let it reload again. All right, it reloaded, and I got my um, I got my map zoomed in a little bit more. Clicking on this marker should give us tell us our, our title where we are, which is Terre Haute. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Mm -hmm.